Hello and welcome to Pregnancy Info. Today we are going to tell you the tips and tricks of breastfeeding. Breastfeeding can have many positive effects of both of you and your baby. Breastfeeding offers many benefits for babies and mothers. It is packed with nutrients and antibodies that help boost your baby's immune system and breastfeeding can help you form a strong bond with your little one. Because of these benefits, you are trying to get some tips and tricks. In this video, we will tell you in detail that what you have to do for your breastfeeding experience. Number 1. Attend breastfeeding classes. It is a good idea to get some information and instruction on how to breastfeed while you are still pregnant. Especially if you are a first-time mother, research shows that women who learn about breastfeeding during pregnancy are more likely to be successful than those who do not. Number 2. Arm yourself with the right nursing supplies. Anything that can help make your life simpler and more comfortable while you are breastfeed, your baby is a welcome addition. Here are some things to consider buying. Number 1. A well-fitting nursing bra that can give you right level of support and make it possible to feed your baby without completely undressing. Number 2. Breast pads can come in handy as your breast milk leak a little milk from time to time. You will need a breast pump bottles and breast milk storage bags so you can pump milk and store it for later. You may like the extra comfort of a nursing pillow. A rocking chair or glider can help make breastfeeding more comfortable to you. A foot tool can help raise your legs and lap higher and get your baby even closer to your breast. Let your healthcare provider know that you have planned to breastfeed. It's a good idea to tell your healthcare provider while you are still pregnant because he will give you some supplements and give medication according to the situation when a mother is breastfeeding. Breastfeed right after birth. It's a beneficial to breastfeed your little one very soon after he is born. Either it's not ready to be nursed, but you should do it as soon as possible. The milk that comes through in the first few days is called colostrum, a thick yellow liquid that packed with protein and antibodies that support your baby's growth and development. Breastfeeding encourages the release of a hormone oxytocin that may help you bond with your baby and you feel more confident and able to do breastfeed. Skin to skin contact during breastfeeding helps stabilize your baby's body temperature, heart rate, breathing and blood pressure level. Consider different ways to latch. To breastfeeding your baby needs to latch on this is when your baby is properly attached to your breast with this month wide open over your nipple covering most of your areola and his nose lips and chin close to your breast. Try different breast feeding positions. There are a variety of breastfeeding positions you could use to help your baby latch on and feel better and empty your breast more effectively. For example, cradle hold, cross cradle hold, football hold, side lying position. You can see these positions in the diagrams. Breastfeed from both sides equally. If your baby has a preference for one breast, it is a good idea to offer him the other breast at the next feeding to make sure that both your breasts get emptied equally. Here is a handy tip if you are tend to forget which breast you baby last nursed from attached a safety pin in the bra strap of the other side after a feeding to remind you which side is next. Ease the pain of engorgement. Engorgement is when the blood vessels in your breasts are swollen and your milk ducts are overfilled with milk causing discomfort and even pain. It can happen if your baby doesn't nurse often or efficiently. The best prevention strategy is to feed your baby whenever he is hungry and to make sure your nurse is from both sides of your breast. The idea to drain your breast regularly in order to keep them from becoming painfully hard and swollen. You don't want to have your breasts become so engorged that your baby cannot latch on properly. Express your breast milk manually or pump some milk to help relieve the pressure before nursing your baby. Massage your breast to help the milk flow. Soak a hand towel in warm water and place it over your chest before your breast feed. You could also take a warm shower. Warmth can help the milk flow. If you find that heat doesn't work, try using a cool compress in between or after each breastfeeding session. Mix up your breastfeeding positions to help train different areas of your breast. Don't give up breastfeeding if you have mastitis. 
occasionally a clogged milk duct can get infected this is a condition called mastitis and the symptoms include fever and cold like symptoms swollen painful breast breasts that feel hot when touched a large lump on your breast and red streaks on the skin of the breast apply a warm compressor wet or dry heat to the lump to take a warm shower go for your baby the breast for the block duct and let him nurse for a long period as this can help drain the block duct this will not infect your baby at all. Massage the lump at the same time as you nurse your baby. Wear loose fitting tops or don't wear a bra for a few days. Pump any remaining milk after nursing. Take every opportunity to rest and drink loads of water. Care for your nipples. Tender nipples are not unusual during the first few weeks of breast feeding eventually this tenderness will likely go away to help reduce or prevent nipple discomfort follow these breast feeding tips make sure your baby is latched properly by checking that your baby's mouth is open wide or covering your areola and not just the tip of your nipple change up your baby's breastfeeding position from time to time follow your baby's cues when it comes to breastfeeding every baby is different and you may want to feed more or less often than others baby so don't worry if your baby doesn't follow the schedule you had expected beforehand there is no feeding schedule that you must follow to the later instead pay attention to your baby's hunger signals keep in mind that how often your baby want to feed will also change over time and may go up and down periodically as a result of things like ground sprout check that baby is getting enough breast milk you are probably wondering if there is an easy way to check your baby is getting enough nourishment here are the tips for checking that your newborn is getting a sufficient amount of breast milk listen for your baby swelling while nursing typically after several sucks keep an eye on your baby to see if it appears satisfied for a few hours after the feeding session for example your baby's arm will most likely be relaxed with open palms signaling that he is full and content before before a feeding your breast may feel full and firm but after a feeding they will feel sofer a very accurate sign that your baby is getting enough to eat to steady growth your healthcare provider will check your baby's weight length and head circumference at each checkup keeping track of your little one's wet and dirty diapers help you know that he is eating well increase your milk supply if needed here are four things that you can do breastfeed more often as this will result in your breast producing more milk pump after nursing as this can help stimulate your breast to produce more milk drink plenty of water and eat a nutritious diet try to reduce stress and relax for example take some time for yourself every day even if it's just a 15 minute consider using a breast pump circumstances make it difficult for you to feed your newborn for example if your baby is born prematurely and is in the NICU your breasts are engorged after or between feeds you have mastitis pumping can help relief and discomfort associated with this condition your baby wants to nurse from one, only one breast and not to other you would like to have some extra breast milk stored so that someone else such as your partner or a babysitter can bottle feed your baby you are heading back to back and plan to pump during the day wait with introducing a pacifier giving a baby a pacifier can help soothe her between feet however offering in those first few days can have a negative effect on your milk supply and discourage your baby from wanting to nurse get prepared for breastfeeding in public at some points you may like to breastfeed your baby while you are in a public place here are some tips wear clothes that allows you to easily access your breast like a loose top or a button down shirt you may wish to use a nursing cover oversized scarf or light blanket to cover yourself when you are breastfeeding breastfeed while wearing your baby in a sling or soft baby carrier not only in the practical it is also keep your baby comfortably close to you find a women's lounge or a dressing room in a department store so that you have some wear peaceful to breastfeed pay attention to your nutrition and well-being maintaining a healthy lifestyle is just an important now that you are breastfeeding as it was when you were pregnant and other time in your life here are some tips that you can check eat healthy and well balanced diet while breastfeeding including lots of fruits vegetables whole grains protein packed foods and lean meat beans and dairy products to make breast milk your body may need about 450 to 500 extra calories a day 
take a multivitamins or other supplements if it is recommended by your healthcare provider. Drink plenty of water, rest as much as you can and try to sleep when your baby sleeps to take advantage of these opportunities. Avoid alcohol and smoking and limit certain foods. Limit your caffeine intake to 200 mg a day. Limit consuming seafood that is high in mercury like swordfish, king merkel and tilefish. Avoid smoking, avoid drinking alcohol as it is not safer. Get help if you are struggling with breastfeeding. Other than that, keep your breast warm because if your breast is not well warm, then the milk can make your baby some infection in his chest. So, if you are well warm before breastfeeding, that it can help your baby to be healthy and well protected from the winter season. Pay attention to breast hygiene. This is because you are direct in contact with your baby's mouth, so you have to wash your breast properly with warm water and also swap the face of your baby after every feeding this will help to clean his lips from being blackish due to the color of areolas stay well hydrated before every breastfeed you have to drink two glasses of water and after breastfeeding you should also take water because water can help you to produce more milk and the easy flow of milk don't be starved whenever you feel hungry you should eat something because if you feel starved then the milk supply will be disturbed or it will be reduced day after the time so these are the tips about breastfeeding you must have to do what i have told you in this video and must share it with your friends and family members who are interesting to do breastfeeding because this will help him or her her for her future's life. Thank you.